Y'all, we finally got the TVs that's like South Texas. There's like no border. All right, don't cancel me for that. But y'all, this is how our TV walls used to look and we still have that option. It's a fourth of the price, but now we can provide ones that look like this. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how we did it. Oh, Usher had his skates on. That's, you know, I love me some Usher. Pause. That's it. So I had to go ahead and put mine on too. Y'all usually see me use four TV mounts. This time we're gonna use the professional mounting hardware. So the way it works is see that slides right there and you find a stud. So each one of these is adjustable. The only downfall of this is it's five times as much just for the mounting hardware to get these up there. But it comes out perfect. Like there's no blemishes. There's no side that's leaning. Even if your wall isn't straight with something like this, we can make it perfect. Don't forget, it's our first time using something like this. So it's all kind of trial and error. So what we did with these next two is put them on the wall, made sure we slid the little middle bracket against the stud, and then we're going to tighten that up just like that. Even if you don't want to hire me, the instructions for this are very easy. Like from that bottom hole to the top hole, the other one is 21.6 inches exactly. So it's really tough to mess the measurements up. Don't forget, 21.6 between each row. So I went ahead and marked the bottom row. Now we're going to start putting the TVs up, and then we can make our final adjustments from there. Now, again, Full transparency, it did take me an hour today to get it perfect. There's little knobs on the back, pause. That way you can adjust the forward tilt. You, I mean, there's so many things you can adjust on this. It really, really makes it easy. These TVs come with handles, but you gotta be really careful because they are more fragile than a regular TV, so you can't lay them down flat. The TVs are gonna include Cat6 cable, so what you do is you daisy chain those together. That way one remote controls all of them at the same time. Don't let these edits fool you. This definitely took like seven hours, which is, Fun for me, cause I can't wait to try it again. Cause I know next time it'll be like two and a half to three hours. I'll post a link in my bio tomorrow for more information for all the stuff that you guys see here. And I'll be posting another video that's more in depth. This wall used to be white. We had to run two dedicated circuits just to power all this. One the upstairs in the closet with the matrix. But I think it turned out pretty good. We also painted the wall, which as you can see above that top speaker didn't really go so well. <laughs> but like I said, we had fun. Um, we added these three speakers, new receiver. There's a lot that went into this. So if you guys tune in tomorrow, we'll have way more on how we got this project done. Don't don't judge my random skate right there. We need a nail and hammer. Sorry. We need the device. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> also, that has to be up though. Huh? Damn, put that whole bag on. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Our nail and hammer now. Hmm? Device. Fucking device. That's empty. That's not empty. That was for the homies, by the way.